tighten over the crank so I can get the valve in the right position so I can get a measurement of the correct push rod. And I can order the push rods and get this scary looking beast back on the road again. Just turning that turning that crank got a bolt on the uh, crank bolt down there trying to work it until I get those valves to move to the Is right and got a dial gauge on there trying to be somewhat precise it's important Meanwhile, Sam Powers is talking shit at the United Nations. She's so disgusting. I don't think there's any neocon who isn't disgusting. She's especially... She's disgraceful. Ah, got some movement going on. Cool. My instructions is said to uh, take the measurement just as the intake valve is beginning to open. Well, how the heck are you supposed to know that? So a dowel gauge will, will tell me. I mean, there we go, now we're getting some movement. Exhaust valve. Uh, this is... Comp Cams has helped me out here. Thank you, Comp Cams, Competition Cam Chefs. So here's the uh, measurement tool. It's a 7704 comp cams. In the catalogs, it shows up as 7704 1. I guess that's because there's one of them. And it's hard to see, but there are some hash marks right here. That's to help this adjustable end so you can see when it lines up with the main end. This is like a push rod but it's adjustable. Um, and each, apparently each rotation is equal in measurement to point, 0 0.05 inches. So one complete rotation is 0 0.05 inches. And there's only one um, check. There's only one mark on this whole on the whole circumference here. So that means if I'm entitled to one guess, then the best I can do is uh, a, a half. Um, so what I did was I got some painters tape here thought this was pretty slick Okay, so you wrap a piece of painter's tape around here and you mark this starting point. 
that's these marks right here on the tool we want to get the most accurate measurement possible I want to get the right size the best size push rods for my motor so there's the start point now we unroll this until we see the marks on the upper portion right there I'm just eyeballing it that's the best I can do and then here's the finish right there it's pretty close this is just for demonstration purposes there's the finish now my actual measurements were a little bit different it's not real pretty but here's from the exhaust valve there's the start there's the upper measurement and here's the finish so this whole distance from start to finish that's 0 0.05 inches and then for the intake valve here's my start here's the mark from the upper section and here's the finish so the whole distance is just happens to be one inch pretty convenient actually so if you take the ruler and you can get an exact measurement you got to just line that up too so it shows about an inch and then pick the best uh, measurement to work with it looks like in our case in this case it's going to be um, eighths of an inch so we've got it's not quite a whole inch it's one there's four eighths five eighths six eighths seven eighths of an inch seven eighths so you convert this to decimal and then you multiply that by 0 0.05 inches and that's how you can get um, a more precise measurement so after doing that then you'd rotate this to the first until it lines up and that little rotation right there you gotta remember that's that extra amount that you just measured here the in this case seven eighths um, seven eighths of an inch then you, you rotate this there's one turn two three four five that's five turns plus seven eighths of a turn plus the entire length of this tool right here so here's my math I'm not good at math um, and these are my actual measurements for my intake and my exhaust intake amount of 15 and 5 eighths turns my put my lifters called for a preload of three quarters of a, of a turn that's 0.75 anyway I converted all this to decimal here so my intake amount of the and the exhaust is the critical one but the intake because that's the one that was hitting the piston on cylinder number two so these measurements are from cylinder number two since it seems to be the most sensitive so here we have um, the total number of turns plus the preload equals this amount here that's the total number of turns and we multiply the total number of turns times the length of each turn which is 0 0.05 inches and that gives us this amount here and then we add the total length of the testing tool here to that which in my case the collapsed length is 8.8 .8 inches 
and that tells me how long my push rods need to be and you can see in both cases it's 9.6 or more inches so the intake is 9.618750 exhaust is 9.628125 when I looked at the available push rods the closest match I could find to this was 9.6 inches and that's pretty close and so that's what I've ordered and you can see it's a little bit less than is required by each but you know what that's close enough and it's the exhaust valve that was hitting the piston so that's going to be uh, that'll leave for a slightly better margin of error we're going to just round it to 9.6 and drop off this extra value so when those parts come in we'll shove them in and put them in the motor and we'll start it up and see uh, if the valve hits again